right, this is a petrol generator, many manufacturers uh, with different labeling, but anyway, they're all quite similar. Now, this one has a fault. This side of the engine is resting completely on the frame, and that one is almost resting on the frame. Now, these are the replacement parts, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install these new engine mountings. Now these generators have four, two at the back and two in the front. This one here is fine, but this one over here is, uh, is actually torn. So I'm going to be replacing this one and the front left. Ideally, if you could just replace all at once would be a good idea. So I'll show you how to replace this. Now there are two nuts that have to be released. As you can see, there's a top one there and there's one hidden at the bottom there. This is a size 14. And if you find that it's very tight and rusted, like in my case, just spray a little bit of uh, oil to help you release it to the nut. Now, it's not a bad idea to loosen the other ones as well, because in order to lift this, you will have to lift up the engine quite a bit in order to get this out. Uh, it's easier to work from the bottom and flip the bottom out and I'll show you how to do that Right now. There's the nut at the bottom. So also a bit rusted just put some oil on it Now if you want to you could take the leg off. Okay, this is a size 13 There we go now, in order to get this out, you can use a pry bar. If you don't have that, you can also use screwdrivers and you wedge it. Now, when you're lifting it up, be, be aware of these uh, lips sitting here, these flaps here, because they are wedged in there and there. I'm going to lift it, as you can see, and I can peel out the bottom one, but you can see it's not moving. And the reason why it's not coming out is this lip over there has to also come out. So I'm just prying it with a screwdriver. There we go. Right, now to install the new one, uh, you just follow the process in reverse. And this one on the side here is completely loosened. I've loosened the nut. Uh, completely because I want to show you that when I lift this it's lifting out there I don't want to damage this one while I'm putting in a new one so that allows me to lift it up nicely and then just align it to the hole at the bottom there we go Right, I've put the bottom nut on, but this is still loose there and loose there because I'm going to change one other mounting on the other side. As I stated, it's best if you can change all four of the mountings, but what you'll find is even if you have four mountings, sometimes the quality control is not very good. You might find two are firmer than the other two. So my experience with these mountings is that they... Um, a little bit inconsistent sometimes uh, you'll get four from the same company and you'll find one is firmer and this is where the alignment of the um, engine comes in which is shown in the video a little bit later right now having a look at the back and you see how that uh, mounting is completely collapsed so the one on the left is still fine uh, but the one on the right is stuffed you've got to loosen both these screws and I'm gonna lift it and swap it Now the nut on this side uh, is a bit hidden, so you've got to come at it from this angle. Now on this particular generator, you can't get to release the nut that's holding this mounting unless you open these screws here and remove the wheels. Because there's an axle that's running across the bottom, so this has to be opened. Right, now, in my case, I only have one engine mounting here that needs replacing. So, I'm just loosening the uh, right-hand side of the wheel assembly. So, it was nut and bolt, nut and bolt. But if you're changing both engine mountings, then you'll have to take this uh, whole wheel mounting off. So, as you can see, all I need to do is actually just lift this, get my hand in here, loosen the nut. Uh, there it is. And now, this engine mounting can come out. 
Okay, so following the same procedure, there you can see. You have to loosen both sides, otherwise you might tear the other side, the, the mounting. And just having a look at these mountings, these are the broken ones. You can see, check it out. Look at that torn there. And looking at the new one, you can see pretty sturdy. I can't compress this in, even in my hand. Now to put it on, line it up, get it ready. You can see the orientation. There's the lip which is going to seat in one of the holes. There's this one, it's going to go into the block. And there's the threads which are going to come through the frame over here. Right. Now because this is new, it needs the engine needs to be lifted quite a bit higher because this is quite uh, but it's got a higher profile right it might be easier to come from the back as you can see and I'm just gonna have to depress it and find the slot for the screw <laughs> just careful your fingers you don't want to get your finger caught there and you could actually just tap this in like that see there it's seated now remember you put oil there to loosen it so make sure you clean that with thinners because the oil remember this thing vibrates a lot so you want to make sure that there's no oil uh, gonna help to loosen this nut while its engine is on so now we can tighten them you can make it fairly tight uh, because it does sustain quite a lot of vibration here now just before you fully tighten the nut at the bottom you will see there's different slots now not all generators have this but in this case this generator's got it so you can almost do the alignment of where you want the whole engine to be right so you can see that little uh, wedge there has to get into the hole now that uh, there is a bit of an aligning option here now in my case this has to be in that one how do i know that now if you have a look at the exhaust this is telling you that your mountings are not mounted properly. You see the exhaust should be sitting here in the middle. So now it's pushed too much to the side, which means the mountings uh, need to be realigned. So that means that the one at the back should be released a bit to go more back, or the one in the front here, should, and the one in the front should also be released a bit. So this is how you check whether your alignment is any good. You want the generator to kind of sit equidistant on the frame. I need to twist this a little bit into that hole over there. Right, there you can see it's seated in there. Now it's time to tighten the left hand side. right so there you can see look at that gap renewed that one is still fine in your case you might be changing both of these but mine on the left there is actually still fine so just checking it yes it's good it's good now what you want to do is uh, in terms of the alignment when the generator starts it, it tends to do this and when you load it it tends to also shake a bit you want to just actually you actually want to shake it a bit to make sure there's no knocking on the frame and in the exhaust holder see look at that that's perfect now it's time to just tighten the front and the job is done. Right, when the alignment is done and you've aligned these uh, mountings, you should see the generator, the exhaust, you see it's almost centralized. If I shift the generator, if I vibrate it, you can see even going in or out, it doesn't knock on anything. Um, I did have to play around with uh, um, these mountings, just shifting in there and there and so forth. But now I'll start the generator and you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> 